All right, since we just did uh, 10 Keegans, um, the Nexus have pretty much sold. Uh, sold three there. Um, I sold 50 Breath of Brave 2s because why not do Keegan instead? Um, <laughs> uh, the Boundary sold, so that's pretty good. Um, I sold another three. Yeah, okay, three there, three there, so that's 360, <laughs> crazy. Um, the chest and stuff hasn't sold, maybe they're overpriced, I don't know. 95 for an NRD chest is mental, even if I drop that to 50, it's still crazy. Um, I might drop this to um, 20. I mean, if I'm going to get more anyway, why not, right? Twenty. This was worthless last season. Let's just put up for eight, whatever. I just wanted to sell. Um, did we price check this? With four percent additional. Oh, it's four. Let's put up for five because it's double corrupted. Uh, I didn't identify any of the clubs. Oh, let's do that first. And then uh, we'll get on with um, this test. Um, I got these earlier for 7 to 8. Uh, now they're 9.99 to 10. Um, so this is 750. Is that right? 10 each. 750. Flame Elementium test. That's insane when you think that I've spent 750 flame elementium getting 25 sets of Keegan. It's just absolutely mental. I've got five lots of calculator open. Don't need that. So 25. So average 12.5 times 61 just off the um, Nexus. Twelve and a half times sixty one is seven hundred and sixty two. Um seven sixty two minus ninety five tax. So six sixty seven. So we we need something else other than just twelve Nexus. Twelve and a half Nexus. Um to make a profit. So we probably will, honestly. Um it's pretty crazy. Uh, if it was all sevens, uh, it would have been 600, so I would have saved um, 150 flame elementium just by paying two less per dart. That's pretty... Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's identify the gloves, see what we get. We got minus one focus zero focus, uh, minus one, zero, plus one, positive, positive, it's probably worth something, plus one, positive, positive, 80 flame elementium, um, that wasn't included in <laughs> the 300 or whatever before, uh, negative and negative, all right, so I'm going to put the other ones up for five when I have spare slots. And I'm going to put this up for 75. <laughs> Crazy. Was it this one? Yep. 75. Why not? Because we didn't make enough money, you know? Whew. That takes that up to like 430 flame elementium profit. Uh, I'm going to time this to see how long it actually takes. If you want to time your own, it's just clock. That's all I use. Uh, then reset it, and let's do one, and then I will cut to highlights, or I might unpause whenever a nexus drops. Instead of showing all of them like I did in the last video because that video was kind of long. Uh, crapped on at the start of this one, so this one's probably going to be kind of long as well. Got lucky and bypassed his shield. Just wait for him to phase. I 
feel like this is at least a billion DPS, but the test dummy this league has had some wild um, ranges. So right off the bat, we get a Nexus, um, and the luck continues. Frozen Sight, Corroded, doesn't seem very good. Interesting that item level 90 stuff drops in here. Shame it's not item level 100 and has 150 plasticity. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Well, RNG's kicking us in the face a bit this time. Um, that's the 10th run and I've only had three Nexus drops so far. A um, little bit faster than I thought. Um, only 12 minutes for 10 runs, which is pretty good. Um, yeah. See you in another 10. All right, all right, all right. This is the last run and... This has been a very sobering experience after the last 10 that I did and I got 8 um, Nexus. I knew that was an extremely good result, uh, but still it kind of went to my head, not going to lie. Um, and this time I got what I expected from the Nexus, however my equipment drops I actually had, I think I had four armors drop out of ten last time. Um, and I had four armors drop from 25 this time. So the armor difference is quite a lot. Um, so I had a flaming evil, a fleeting sky, they seem to be worthless. One winter is near. One eternal, well, three eternal, no, one eternal undercurrent. They look almost the same. Um, two corrupted bulwarks and a martyr's staff. Although I think it's only just one, two, three, four, they're worth anything. Um, I haven't checked the price of the bulwarks, so let me just do that. So yeah, fleeting skies, two FE, so I'm not counting that. Okay, Corrupted Bulwark is also garbage, so I'll just delete that. Alright, so final results. Let this be a lesson. Um, I paid 10 Flame Elementium per key this time. The last test I paid 8, 8 and 7 uh, for a total of... So... 8, 8, and 7 is 23. If you pay 24 per key, it's 600 cost. If you pay 23 each, it's 575 cost. And what I paid, which was 10 each, is 750 cost. So if I was a little bit more patient, and I didn't just want to spam these all day, um, I could have picked them up for 8, 8, and 7 which would have been 575 cost. So by being greedy and impatient, I paid 750 instead of 575, which is a difference of 175 flame elementium, which now that I've done it, I am kind of disgusted in myself uh, because if I had have just paid what I paid the first time and just been patient and got my keys. I could do some Path of the Brave in between, which is still really good profit of 90, prof uh, 90 FE an hour, 100 FE an hour. I could have just done 25 of these at the end of the day for an extra, um, you know, 150 Flame Elementium. Uh, so the difference between... Um, so 175, if I had been patient, is the difference. So even with kind of average, I expected 12 and a half, 13 of these. So that is exactly as expected. However, the rest of this is below what I expected. Um, so word, word of caution just be patient. Don't overspend on 
the keys to do a farming strategy. Um, I'm going to work on tax credits, so I'm gonna get this back. Um, but yeah, let it be a lesson. If you don't get lucky on your armor drops and you get exactly what you're meant to get on the familiar nexus, you won't get profit paying 10 per key. Anyway, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Cheers.